Alrighty, let's play this in full first. They like you and they would like to put you on camera. Really? <laughs> I know, I was so surprised too. They like you and That's <laughs> such a good line. They like you and they would I would say oh, let's bring down the sound here. I think I think I would concentrate on the body first before we're going into uh, the lip sync. It has the, in the you know the extremes already in there. I think that's definitely a good start. My main reaction is that they're both competing for attention. So if I start the shot, let's take this out. Boop. I'm lo I'm looking over here, right off the bat. So they're not moving, right? And I like I like the posing, right? She has a bit more of a a uh, serious and concerned about her future look to it. And I like that she's slightly tilted, and I definitely like this pose. Shoulders up, she's a lot more tense, head down. It's almost like her hair wants to hide the face, like, oh no. And then how she opens up, that's cool. Shoulders go down. And then I like how she goes back, I think. You might even, when she goes, she's still tense, right? She goes, oh, really? I think on that. I see you're having your shoulders uh, going back there, but I wonder if it would be something where you, you can push this, where I'm not sure if you can go higher with this, but when she goes like this, because it's such a, <gasps> such a happiness move there that I would start to lower the shoulders. And then when she goes back there, either you bring them back up because they're like, oh, and maybe you have a bit of a twist in the body. And that's why also the shoulders come up again. But I was tempted to say at first to, to bring them down here as well. But I, I can see how he would go, oh, like it's a bit of like, oh. So to me, then I would maybe emphasize one shoulder and turn the chest around to just to give it, it sounds weird to give it a reason for the shoulders to go up. But I'm trying to avoid also a lot of up and down on the shoulders. But to me, it seems like she has tension. Tension, tension, and that's already a bit of a release because she's listening. And that, I'm, mean, I can see the idea of, of that or oh, that. So to me personally, I think at least it would be worth a try to see, to get that progression of, you know, it's tense, everything is tense, arr, and releases, releases, releases until here, where it's really down. And then you go back into, oh, and that, that way you have a bit more contrast of down, 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 up, really? and then down again. <laughs> I know, I was so surprised. They like Question for you. I will probably, hmm, this might be legal in terms of where she looks, even though, watch out, I would look a bit lower. We could potentially cheat it and have her only look this far. Not that it's a shock killer, but my question to you is that when she looks over, is she completely oblivious that she's not happy? Would you consider when she looks over to have a little bit of a, hey, hey, oh, <laughs> just a moment of, oh no, now she's mad. And you can see that in the profile when she comes back there, she has kind of a forced smile with a little eye dart this way and then back to her just wondering again not that this shot doesn't work like this i'm just throwing it out there if she's happy and goes hey oh uh, like that and she looks back and then back there so she wants to be happy but realizes oh no she's not exactly the happy one at this point now in terms of um eye direction we're, we're saying competing so right off the bat my eye goes here because she moves the most and then we go back do you want Again, it works because we have you have a clear back and forth at the beginning. But my question is, would it be cleaner to just focus on her? Where we don't think that they're talking about her. Unless that's what you want. Unless as an audience we're not quite sure yet who who they're talking to. And then the they is like the draw on anticipation, like what could they what? like you and that's the reveal i mean i can see that too throwing it out there that could be something 
Now, now I'm invested. Now I know it's her, and now I want to see her reaction. That's already a bit much. That head move just makes me look at her. And then we look back at her, and right when you go back here, she has that move in the shoulder head. So to me, it's just a bit much. Again, it's not a massive shock killer, but I wonder if we just keep it all really subtle. Let's put it this way. What if you start like this, right? And then they like you. When you hear that, she actually does this move. Meaning that they both look this way. They like you, head turn, so that she leads the audience's eye to her, which then leads to this reaction. And then you already have that, <laughs> that nice look in there. This is just, you know, very attention grabbing, but let's see. Then what about if during they, since the audio is not giving us new information, then she can do this, right? She leads over, she has that reaction, and they, because now she's not saying much, and we, we saw her reaction. Then she does her thing, oh. So we look to her, and then would like to, she has that reaction, which means we go back to her, because she draws the attention, and then I would nix this here, because it's too competing there. So then we have all of this, we look at her, and now to cut the attention out, then this happens. And then the rest I think is fine. Again, subjective thoughts, and I know this might be a bit destructive, and you might have to move things around, but um, as always, uh, I give my... My honest opinion doesn't mean that they're right, <laughs> but that's the only thing. That's the main thing is like, how could we, re to me, it feels like we need to restructure a little bit where the focus is. And um, so we, we can appreciate both performances because that's my main concern. I like them both. I'm concerned that we miss things or that we just, at one point, not, we're not quite sure where to look. Um, and that's that. I think that would be the end of that. It's really nice work. So I'm curious what your thoughts are. So let me know, email me. Uh, let's uh, let's have a plan. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.